hello mariners welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to learn about the fish triangle this is a concept basically it's a concept of solving a chart work numerical and uh, this fish triangle is more or less similar to your three point bearing now how to identify or how to distinguish between three point bearing and a fish triangle because that is the most important point you can say as because once you didn't identify then you are going to lose time and you will not able to identify so the simplest way to identify you can see here with two bearing of one light and one bearing of the other light at an interval will be given your cts will be given engine speed will be given and the current will be given okay what you have to find in that question that you have to find cmg that is course made good rate of current and position so this is the basic identification basic identification of fish triangle now we'll direct approach i will direct show you the concept first we'll see the concept and then we will we'll solve one past numerical okay so now here you can see that two lighthouse is given and from the one lighthouse two bearing is given at 1400 and 1500 you can see and the last bearing is 1600 so now already you know two bearing will be given cts will be given engine speed will be given and the direction of the current will be given okay so whatever information initial information you have just plotted so we had plotted the bearing okay the first bearing the second bearing and the third bearing now now any point on this 14 13 bearing assume you are anywhere on this line so let's assume that we are at point c you can take here you can take at this point you can extend this line more and you can go more down that doesn't matter okay so now i have taken the point c now what i have to do is that here second thing you know about running fixed and other numericals if course is given will draw the course so i had drawn the course c and d so from 1430 to 1500 i will calculate the engine speed and from 1300 to i will cut now again from 1500 to 1600 what the vessel has done what what speed will cut from the d to the y now now where you have to transfer the line so which line we are going to transfer that is very important the line you can see here this line and this line is symmetrical so will not transfer number 2 bearing will transfer the first bearing to the point z and z you know what we had cut initial okay means initial distance for half an hour how much uh, till what distance the vessel will cover so this is the z i will transfer the first pl third pl i will transfer point y you know what is y now this much is done so once we'll drop, transfer this pl this pl has to intersect at any point so here it is going to intersect at the down there are some questions where you will find that the pl are not intersecting so in that question don't worry just extend this line more because it is going to intersect it may intersect at up it may intersect down it may further extend the line and it will it has to intersect okay so now since this much you got it now from z draw the direction of the current okay direction of the current till how much you have to cut we don't know the rate so we'll simply join we'll draw this till it's join this transfer pl at the transfer pl we'll simply transfer this cd course from here to here that is x and h now what now we'll simply join h to c wherever this hc line and the current is intersecting draw our line exactly which will pass at this intersecting point it has to pass this is the basic concept okay 
एनी हाउ हिट इट विल पास इफ इट इज नॉट पासिंग स्ट्रेट लाइन इज नॉट पासिंग दैट मीन्स देयर इज सम क्लैरिटिकल एरर यू नीड टू रेक्टिफाई दैन ओके सो नाउ इट हैज पास्ट ओके ना नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू सिंस यू नो वेन टू पी एल बेसिकली दिस इज अ पी एल ओनली वेन टू पी एल्स आर पासिंग दैट विल बी अ पोजिशन सो नाउ दिस लाइन इज कटिंग द सेकेंड सो दिस इज द फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पोजिशन वी गॉट नाउ नाउ सिंपली ड्रॉ द करेंट द करेंट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ we from here this at this point wherever it is cutting the the second pl bearing from there draw a line forward and draw a line aft line in the sense direction of the current no need still i am saying you no need to calculate what till what rate because still you don't know so we just our intention is to join this both the initial pls once it has joined now what you have to do you have to draw the CTS course twist here initial. So basically, take the parallel and draw it. Take this parallel and draw from here because initial current and the final current you can see as. Now the moment you will join S to T, that will be your course made good. You will measure it. You will get your speed made good. Now this current. Once you will measure this current. measure it so in this question it is from 1430 to 1600 that is one and half hour convert it to one hour the distance and you will get your rate of current so this is the basic understanding of your fish triangle now i will just draw one questions on the chart so that it can be a very uh, familiar you can means twice doing a things you can get it so please be wait